During ESMO 2021, I present the EORTC 1508 trial of bevacizumab um, versus bevacizumab plus atezolizumab, and also looking at the addition of acetyl salicylic acid or aspirin um, in patients with platinum resistant ovarian cancer. So currently the treatments need to be improved for women with platinum resistant ovarian cancer. So we looked at whether a non-chemotherapy uh, approach uh, may have clinical activity as part of the EORTC collaboration. This was a randomized phase two multi-center study. Um, overall, we recruited 122 women uh, across five countries. There were five arms looking at bevacizumab alone, atezolizumab with placebo or with aspirin, and then bevacizumab with atezolizumab with or without um, aspirin. Now we did close two of the arms of atezolizumab um, with placebo or aspirin, and that was based on results in phase three trials during the time of the trial, which showed that immunotherapy alone um, had minimal efficacy. So what we saw in this particular trial, we were looking at the primary endpoint of progression-free survival at six months. And we needed to have 12, at least 12 out of 29 progression-free at six months to reach the activity threshold. We did not meet that primary endpoint in this study, but what was really important um, for patient management and, and an interesting signal was the time to the first subsequent therapy. So with bevacizumab alone, that was around three months, but with the bevacizumab in combination with immunotherapy with atezolizumab, that increased to over five months, so it's 5.3 and 5.8 months. Um, there was no um, improved efficacy with the addition of um, aspirin to the combination. But these signals do merit further exploration and what's key and really important for this study was the wealth of translational research that's going on uh, with biopsies that were taken thanks to patients that volunteered for that and that results are underway and this is really important as a heavily pre-treated group of women, 84% um, had more than three lines of treatment and 70% had a prior bevacizumab. Um, so I hope that this trial will help um, direct future research.